Hey everybody, I have the sweetest little project to share with y'all tonight that I'm I'm so excited to share. I hope y'all enjoy it because I had so much fun making this. And ironically tonight when I sat down to film, it's it's been rainy where I am and um, about the time the rain kind of let off, there is an owl parked outside the window being very vocal tonight. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the video or not, but he's been out there and it's just so much fun to listen to, but um, a little distracting at times too. But anyway, I can't wait to share this with you guys. I had so much fun making this and it's just, um, it's reminiscent of my childhood with paper dolls and um, dress up and all the fun little girly things that I liked when I was growing up. And that's what this card reminded me of. And I don't do a lot of card videos, but I do make cards. I just usually end up sharing ornaments or tags, but this one I wanted to make into a larger scene. And to me, the card for the design I wanted um, lent itself to that a little bit more. So this is the card. And I put a little gingerbread girl on there because I also wanted to contribute to the um, hashtag gingerbread of February. And so I put the little ginger girl on, but you can see the card says, always wear a smile here and blessed and grateful on the little sign. And then if you open the little doors to the armoire, you can see all of her little dress up clothes and her little Mary Jane shoes. And I just had so much fun making this. So that is the card and the inside is blank. And I've got a little bit of lace at the bottom and a little bit of lace up here. And I tried to give all of it a little bit of an old antiqued look, just a little, not heavy, but just a little bit. So I cannot wait to share with y'all everything that went into this because I I just had so much fun um, making the little clothes and putting them on the little hangers and fixing the little armoire. So let's show you what the main parts of this card are. So the first thing is a wooden rubber stamp and it is the armoire, and it is by Northwoods Rubber Stamps. This one's 2000, but there's this armoire, and it does have sort of a, um, a Christmas theme to it because it has the holly berries, but I'm just using it as a non-Christmas, and you can see the little holly leaves right there, but I don't think it stands out too much as Christmas if you don't color them that way. So, but it is an, a good little stamp to have if you wanna mix it into some of your Christmas projects too. So this is the rubber stamp for the armoire. Then everything else was mainly die cuts. So I wanna show you most everything was peachy keen. So of course the little ginger girl is a peachy keen. And she is from this set, which is PKSD009 Gingerbread Doll Die and Face Stamp Set. So she is this face and just the ginger girl body, which was out of this die. Okay. And it has all the pieces on it. So that was that. The other set that I used um, is a Peachy Keen set, PKSD-010 Clothes and Accessories, because I wanted to use her little dresses and collars and the little aprons and the little bow. So that's the other set by Peachy Keen that was used. And then I took from this set from Peachy Keen, is the choir angels which is I've done several things with this lately it's the PK PKSD-015 the choir angels die I use quite a few of the little clothes in here and the little Mary Jane shoes 
are all mixed in. So really, I just kind of went through and used all the little clothes and little elements that Peachy Keen has made to put this together. So those are the main Peachy Keen dies in this. Then I use this die by Cottage Cuts. It is a clothes hangers and it comes with, um, and I'll actually cut out two different size hangers at once. Let me show you. We'll cut out a larger hanger and a smaller hanger. And this is CC Mini 133. So I use the clothes hanger. And you can see the little clothes hangers inside the armoire. So that was the die for that. Let me slide this back in here. And then I used from Impression Obsession, I used die 1150-Y, which is the dress and dress form, which is this right here. And you can see the back. It's three little pieces. It's the dress form, the dress, and the little um, band at the waist. So those are the dies. Now I used one more die that you really don't have to use in this, but um, in the Spellbinders um, S3427, it comes with this little bar right here for your tags. And I used it to cut the hanging bar for the clothes. But if you don't have this set, you can just, you know, cut you a rectangle strip. But since I had it, that is the one I used. So, those are the dies. And one of my little dresses has come loose. I'll have to re-glue her. Let's see if I can pop this up really quick. Let's see, y'all. It's so humid where I am today. Some of my glue is not setting as fast as normal. So let me slide that little hanger back in there. There we go. Now I'll have to re-glue that. So that's the hangers, the dress, and the dress form. So I wanna talk about um, the armoire first. Um, I wanna show y'all a trick for using larger wood stamps. So that, this stamp stamps this image, okay? And then you just fussy cut it out. And then, I don't know if y'all ever have this problem or not, but sometimes my larger wood stamps, it doesn't matter how firm I press them in the center, they sometimes will, you know, skip little pieces. You can see like on this one, it was hard to get a good impression. If you will take um, and get a couple of pieces of paper towel, just regular paper towels, and I use two, and put down, and then put your paper that you're gonna stamp on, then ink your stamp, and then do your impression. The paper towel, as you press, helps put the paper into um, the image and it'll help give you a clean image. So that's just a little trick when you're using um, larger wooden stamps when sometimes it's hard to get a um, clean impression. So let me just show y'all that. And then I'm going to show you some of the fun colors I cut out. So I just did some pastels and a blue. And then I wanted to show y'all at first, I was playing around with the ink colors because I did one in black and I just thought that was too harsh. And then I used um, the Vintage Photo Distress Ink and I did not love the coloration of that. So I finally settled on the Archival Ink Vintage Photo, which gave me more of a um, pale wooden look. And I thought it picked up the grains of the wood the best. So that's the ink that I used on the armoire. So, I stamped these, and then after you stamp them, cut them out, 
So there's your stamped image. Fussy cut it out. And then cut just your doors open. And I did use an X-Acto knife to get it started along the edges to cut this open. And you'll end up with just this, just an open armoire. So what you're gonna wanna do, and any stamp that you have, you can kinda turn into an open armoire, even if it's you know, a solid, just by cutting it. So after you cut it, you want to take a solid piece on the back and cut it. Now for this, I did a little bit lighter color every time just to give a little contrast between the furniture and what was on the inside. I used a little bit different color each time. Let me move this over here. Put this over here. So that was the pink. And then I want to show y'all kind of how you add your little um, ha clothes hanger bar in here. So this is the little strip I was saying that I cut. Just cut a tiny little strip. And you're going to want to take and glue it in just on the outside, the middle, and the other outside. Cross the back first. Can y'all see that? And then you're gonna wanna glue the back on. Okay, so this is what you end up with. And that's why you wanna glue the back separate and you only wanna glue in the middle because you wanna be able to slide your hangers underneath the bar to hang. And if you glue it solid, you won't be able to slide your hangers under. So that's the reason for doing that. So, move this stack over here. So, for the knobs on it, I used some of the Nouveau Drops gold, and I just accented the little knobs so they would be like hardware. So, I did that. And then, these are the hangers cut out. So, just go through and cut you out some hangers. And I just did some pink and green ones. And after you cut them out, um, I keep a little box that I've cut a bunch of peachy keen clothes out in for my gingers. And after you do that, just go through, find a dress, and you're gonna wanna glue the dress onto the hanger, like there. And then I did distress it around the outside with some tea dye ink. And then your dress is ready to hang inside the armoire. So I'm just gonna slide this in real quick. And then glue it. So that kind of gives y'all the idea of how it started. How fun is that, y'all? And then just decorate your clothes however you want and color coordinate them and have fun with them. That's the fun part. That's really what is fun about this project to me is making all the little outfits. So that's what I did. And I just went through and added bows and cut some of the Mary Jane shoes out to put in the bottom of the armoire and did little aprons and added some of the peachy keen bows on top of those. So that gives you your armoire and all your little dresses inside. And then of course, this is the gingerbread from the peachy keen set. And I use a mix of um, the ditch photo and tea dye to um, make them brown because they're, these are just cut out on white. And then I take and just kind of rub the colors on it until I get it the shade that I want. And I usually use, let's see y'all. I usually use one of these. And show y'all with some of the tea dye. And you can see even these two that I made are kind of different colors. 
Um, the first one I made was a little dark, and so I went back and made a second one that was a little lighter to kind of um, go with more of the, the peach and green undertones. But just get you a little bit of ink on it and just run a rub around on top of it. until you get the shade ginger that you want. And of course, the more ink you add on, the darker it gets. But that's what I use to get my ink colors, what I want. And then of course, you use your peachy keen face to stamp on. But I wanted to show y'all that. And then I did want to show y'all this because since I'm I couldn't watercolor the face on. This particular Distress Oxide by Ranger, the Tattered Rose, is the most beautiful um, cheek color, I think, um, in my opinion. So I usually use one of my little applicators and I just touch it on, get a little pink on. And as you can see, it makes a pretty cheek color. And that's how I made their cheeks. Okay, so that's our ginger. Put that back over here. And I did want to show y'all this. This is kind of the all the little parts and pieces that I have from the Peachy King gingerbread. And I just keep everything in here and dig through and find what I need. Um, like these are the little white icing pieces and the little pieces for the hair and the bows. So um, that's all of those. And it's kind of easy to keep everything together sometimes. And then, let's see y'all. Um, the other fun thing I wanted to show y'all, I don't use a lot of pre-bought um, die cuts, but I did use two on this because I, this is a set that Hobby Lobby sells in the paper um, crafting area and it just, I loved all the colors in it. And so this, the Blessed and Graceful and the Always Wear a Smile both came from this set from Hobby Lobby. And y'all, it has just some pretty old soft colors and very sweet sayings like Always Be Kind. And so those were the two that I used and they both came from the same set. And I just keep them in a drawer. So that's that. All right, so the other thing that I wanted to show y'all, for my lace, for the bow up here, I wanted, to, so I just took some lace and I tied a bow, as you can see, but I wanted my lace to have a little bit of an aged look so I used some of the distressed ink and I just distress the edges and it'll give it a little bit of a brown hue. And I think it adds a little character to it that wasn't there before. So y'all, that is all that went into this. To me, this one isn't a hard card to make or a hard design to make. It's just more how much you wanna put into it and how many different things you want to add. Um, this is fun, the little dress and the, um, even though this isn't a Peachy Keen, it's very easy to add into the Peachy Keen set as if she was making her dress. So, and I love her Mary Jane shoes. They're just so sweet. So that's the card. And the armoire. So I wanted to mention this, um, cause I know sometimes when some of the people that are crafting create with a stamp that's harder to find or that it's, um, an older one that's not made anymore. It's so frustrating to want to, you know, have that and, um, you can't find it. So I wanted to mention, um, because the stamp is old and I looked on Northwood's, um, website and it's no longer on their website. I don't know how long it's been out of production. So I wanted to mention, since this is kind of a unique project, um, if 
you don't have this one and you would like it, if you will like my video and comment on my video and subscribe, um, it, let's say next weekend, I want to give it a few days. So next Saturday, I will go on and anyone that has commented, liked, and subscribed that's in the United States, um, I will draw a name and I will send y'all um, an array of the stamped armoires so that you can create them for your own scene. So, um, well, actually, I tell you what, I will... I will mail them to three people in the United States. I will draw three names. So if you, um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, I will do some of the stamped images and mail them to you if you have a mailing address in the United States, and I will draw names. So um, I wanted to mention that. And again, just wanted to show you this little card. I hope y'all like this one, y'all. This is one I just had a lot of fun with this weekend. How fun is that? It's got the little lace. And dress and a little bit of lace at the bottom to tie it all together. So, everyone will take thank you for watching for starters and like i said if you are interested in having some of the armoires stamped i will um draw three names next weekend so thank y'all for watching and have a good weekend